Science you can try at home! Today we're going to try a little something with magnets and what you'll need is obviously a few magnets, a toy car of some kind, hopefully one with that you can put something in the back of like this one, it's a little truck, <coughs> and some kind of table or surface that you can use to go underneath. So um, I'm going to get a tripod so this doesn't shake around so much and we'll have a bit of a play. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so we're going to try a few things. If you're stuck for magnets, you don't have to have these ones. I got these from the $2 shop a long time ago, uh, but you might be able to pinch one off the fridge. This is an old fridge magnet. That would also work, uh, perhaps not quite as well. So first thing we're going to try to do is see if we can make this car move just by the power of magnets. First of all, we'll just try one. We'll put one in the back there and see if we can make it move just through the magnets underneath. Oh, not bad. We've got some movement. Hmm. Okay, let's see what happens if we put two on. Now the little truck has two magnets on the back of it. And we've got this big stack of magnets down here. Let's see if we can make it move a bit more effectively. Oh, it goes backwards. Oh, not bad. Next experiment then. What happens if we change the ratio and put another magnet on? So there's three there. You can see they're quite powerful ones. Now the problem here is, as I put more magnets on, the track gets heavier, so it's harder for it to push along, but there's more magnetism on that side of it. So let's see if it... Oh yeah, I think that's going to work pretty well. It's a strong track. Whoever's driving it needs driving lessons, of course, but... All right. So, uh, for you at home, you could have a go at this pretty easily. It only takes a few minutes to have a try. Um, and it's a legitimate reason for playing with toy cars. <clears throat> so, what's happening with the car? Why is the car moving along just because there's some magnets on it? Well, you've probably had a wee bit of a play with magnets before, and you've noticed that they attract together when they're around one way. You can see that's very difficult to um, pull. That's strong enough to pinch your skin there. Or if I turn it around the other way, they're really hard to press together. In fact, this will roll roll away. Try to turn around to the attractive side. Um, and I can barely push those together. So if I was to put that in something like that, my trusty truck again, that's going to push away. You can see it does it, does it from quite a distance. Can I push it back? Yes. So, something's happening. Magnets are a very unique kind of thing. There aren't many things in the universe that work with invisible forces. We have gravity, and we have magnetism, and a few other types of radiation. And um, seeing it in action and being able to control it safely is quite unusual. And so that's what makes magnets so fascinating. Um, what happens inside the material, this kind of what they call ferrous material, is that uh, the atoms all line up in a certain way um, and it has like a flow of electrons, a little bit like electricity. In fact, magnetism and electricity are quite re closely related. There's no electricity happening here. I'm not going to get a shock from holding these magnets, uh, but there is a sort of relationship between the two. Um, the force is strong enough that you can push th things along with it. In fact, if I hold my hand there, that, that that is actually pushing with some force, as if, as if that little car had an engine in it. <laughs> it's even doing skids. So, um, 
fascinating things. Uh, after having a bit of a play with magnets yourself, have a look at the next video. I'm going to put two videos on this post. Um, there's another one from a crowd called howstuffworks.com and they'll, they'll explain a little bit more of the science in detail for you. In the meantime though, have a play. See what you can figure out about magnets for yourself. Now what you find is that uh, magnets will stick to some things and not to others. Uh, they like metal that's made out of iron, like steel, um, but they don't stick like to this wood. The wood has no effect on it. In fact, it goes right through, as you saw before in our first demonstration. It won't stick to the plastic part of the pen, but there might be a metal spring in here somewhere that, that it will stick to. But the other side, nothing. It's just plastic. So... When you find a magnet, have a play. See what magnets actually stick to and what they don't.